Okay, so the absolute first step you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to go over to Google and you're gonna to wanna to just verify that your listing doesn't already exist. So you may not have set it up yourself, but Google does re will rely a lot on user-generated information. So if you had a customer who was to put you in at some point trying to leave a review, uh, it could be there. So just make sure it's not. So I'm just gonna go ahead and um, uh, do a listing for one of my clients at the moment. So I'm just typing in character mapping Portland. Um, and if you don't see that big side block over here listing the business, then that means it doesn't exist. And if it does, uh, there will be a little uh, link there that says claim this listing. So that's what you would click to go forward. But here in this case, it's a brand new one. So we can go over to Google My Business. So here we are at google.com slash business. Uh, and this is where you're going to get set up. So one thing to say, you do need a Google account in order to move forward here. Uh, but for this video, I'm assuming you have it. So let's go ahead and just get signed in. Okay, so the first thing it's going to ask you for is the business name. And then click Next. And now you're just going to put in the street address. Okay, so I filled out the address information. And now it's going to ask you one question here. I deliver goods and services to my customers. So they want you to check this box only if you don't have people come to your location. So let's say you're a plumber or an electrician and you travel out. Um, this way, it's not gonna publish your address so that confused customers don't come to your house or to your place of business where they're not actually gonna find what they're looking for. However, if you are a storefront or a business where people do come to you, leave this unchecked. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it unchecked for now and just click Next. Okay, so now you're gonna to wanna to define the business category, and it's very important that you get it right. So in this case, um, and if you start typing something in, it's gonna kind of fill in for you. So my first impulse here would be to say acting class, uh, but that doesn't pop up. So um, maybe drama, drama school. Okay, so that works. Um, basically, it has to be something that already is sell that they already have defined. So um, you may have to do a little extra homework to figure out what those categories are that most closely matches up with what you do. So I'm gonna, I've got that going. So I'm going to click next, and here you're going to put in your phone number. So let's go ahead and put in a local number for Portland. I'm just kind of doing fake information here, and then you're going to want to put in your website address, and then click next. Okay, so now it's just gonna prompt you to finish, so click that to get finished up. Okay, so one last step here. Uh, what they're gonna to wanna to do to verify your listing is they're actually going to send you a postcard by mail. So just fill in your contact name here, and then click Mail, and they will mail